What's happening guys? How's this for a way to film a walk on uh, on a street right here on the Rue St. Catherine Est? St. Catherine Street East. On a day where I really was uh, not sure I was going to make a video because it's such a crappy looking day. It's perfect Monday weather is what it is. Ah, ah, ah. Look at that. That is a rock slinger. And why do they call it a rock slinger? Because it's a dump truck filled with rocks that slings rocks like this everywhere. <laughs> And uh, we're at the corner of, uh, let's see here. I think Iberville, Iberville. Oh, sorry, excuse me, Diberville. I think that D they added that. I think that's, that's a recent thing actually. I think. All right, I want to get that roll back action maybe over here though. Yeah. This is a, uh, oh, look at this Mercedes here, right? Yeah, this is uh, your uh, typical, very old working class neighborhood here. And uh, the East End was always known to be more the Francophone part of Montreal compared to the rest of the city, you know? And I think I only ever filmed a walk one time on this part of the street, actually. Here we go, here he goes. I need to watch. I am an enthusiast. I'm gonna block my view, Mr. Nissan, stupid fucking whatever it is. Man, I forgot my spare battery. Anyway, whatever, you get the idea. So, moving it along. Look at that, a subway truck. Oh, I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I was, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I was gonna film a walk today. It's just such an ugly day. It's actually fitting that today happens to be Monday and the weather's so shite, you know? Oh, actually, come to think of it, the last time I did film a walk on this street was, uh, let me think here. Uh, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, winter, winter time, but it was a gorgeous day. Actually, come to think of it, I think it was exactly a year ago, practically. And, uh, it was just a beautiful fucking day. And again, it, you know, in December, November, the days are so dark, not just because they're short, but they're just often cloudy all the time. And, uh, that's one of the reasons why they're so dark. And, uh, so this is kind of like the opposite, eh, I guess, unfortunately, uh, I remember that day too, all the buildings on this right side were all well lit up because again, it was morning and the sun comes from the south and blah, blah, blah. And oh, I like step vans. Yeah, Canada Post used to have big step vans like that. Not anymore, they haven't had them for a long time. Got all, got rid of them many years ago. You know, the city of Montreal is doing something over here. Look at these beautiful, old, uh, beautiful old rooftops here. go in there. I'd love to go in there and see what that looks like, eh? Oh man, you know there's a story behind that, that's for sure. Oh crap. Damn it. Damn wind. Too thin in the mouth. Let's see. I hate wind. Unless it's summertime and it's too hot. Well, that's a different story then. Yeah. Well, uh, Express going to the garage, going to the car wash. Ah, uh, those motors sound good. That one too. Ah. Yeah, boy, there's no lack of action here. It's almost as busy as fucking St. Catherine downtown. No, I'm just kidding about that actually. Uh, fucking typical boring cars. No offense to you who have one, but you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, uh, it takes a lot of guts to uh, own an old car and drive it all year or every fucking day. Specifically, if you're driving in the dead the dead zone, as I call it, which is now winter. Yeah. Mmm, something smells good here. It smells like French cooking. Actually, it smells like a tortillère. Tortillère is French for meat pie. Yeah. Matter of fact, it's called tortillère because I think it was invented by the French, actually. 
Hey, you know, you see this uh, GMC Chevy pickup right here? Look at this, right here. Okay, you know the big one, the Silverado or whatever the hell it's called these, these days? I leave my place, you know? It was a salting truck. And uh, I see this guy drive by, uh, you know, on this street, but closer to my place. And uh, <laughs> that guy's got a big black Silverado, whatever, a crew cab. And then I notice he's got those fucking big ass redneck mud flaps. You know, they cover the whole rear end practically. They're so stupid. And uh, he's got fucking disco playing. Imagine that. Look how strange that is, eh? That, what does that make me think of? It makes me think of Bourbon Street. It makes me think of New Orleans. These huge uh, balconies, you know, on each floor, like uh, the plantations down there, eh? Louisiana, Mississippi. Yeah, maybe there's a connection, eh? Probably is. French, French connection, man. You know? It's good to see churches getting repaired and fixed. They're worth it. Now I'm going to have to walk backwards because of the wind. You know what? I'm going to cut across here, actually. Oh, look, there's an old accord. Son of a bitch. Maybe this will cut down on the wind factor since the wind is coming from the, uh, the northwest. Uh, yeah, good old 1990 to 93 Honda Accord. Still kicking it. Boy, there used to be thousands of these, so probably let alone here in Quebec. What's the condition of this one? Oh, I think I've seen it before. Oh, it's in good shape, actually. Yeah, it's in good shape. Yeah, man. Yeah, typical navy blue interior. Wow, it's in real good shape. I think I saw this thing on Christmas Street. Look, it's even got a company plate on it. Wow, that's weird. Cool. Yeah, when I, in Quebec, if you have an F plate, it starts with an F. It's a company plate, business plate, commercial plate. And judging by the taillights, that's actually a 90 to 92. Probably not a lot of mileage on that car. I think I filmed a camper on this street once. This is Fulham Street. You see that building down there? That huge building that sticks out like a sore thumb? That's the uh, he headquarters for the Sûreté du Québec. The Quebec Police Force. Yeah, that is right. Oh Christ, it's cold. Jesus! Friggin' wind! Get rid of the jaywalk. No, I'm kidding. Ah. Fulham Street. Yeah. Look at this. More beautiful architecture. Look at that. They'll never make them that great again. Is that gorgeous or what? You know, back in the day, man, when uh, a lot of people in this part of the city were working for the Canadian Vickers Company and in the Hochelag and this part of the Ville Marie and the Ville Marie section had more money. You know, I guess uh, this building probably thrived. It looked like it was a bank maybe, but there's no uh, name on it. Actually, come to think of it, I think this is, I've seen this before. I've noticed this building. It looked to me like it might have been a fire station, actually, judging by its design. I noticed this thing from the Scrap 34, usually I take there. And, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like to me, what it might have been. Because, you see, there's the door, the typical two windows. But right here would have been a garage. I'm holding the bed on that. And I bet you one of you guys even know that. Confirm it. Confirm, confirm. I should almost not even be filming this because the, uh, like I said, I didn't bring my spare battery. But actually, quite frankly, uh, I can run so much. I, record, I can record so much on just one battery if it's got a full charge. I, don't, I almost usually don't even need the second spear. Like I said, it's that fucking Nikon I bought. Oh, speaking of which, you know the Nikon, the one I broke? I, I still got a Kijiji for 50 bucks. This guy calls me. No, sorry. He didn't call me. He gets, he contacts me, contacts me on my... my uh, I get an email from him. He saw the camera on Kijiji. And he, uh, he says, uh, call me. I'm interested in this. So I call the guy because I don't, I don't think I have my number listed. And uh, he's like, oh, uh, how did it break, blah, blah, blah. I told him the whole story. And he says, oh, uh, he gets all nervous. He's like, oh, uh, listen, uh, I got to call you back. Uh, I got to go drop off my wife. I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Never, never call me back. What a fucking moron. Why don't you just fucking tell me that you changed your mind and not interested? You know, it's true what they say. People, it's true what they say. People, there are a lot of people, they really are afraid to say no. It's true. They're afraid. They're afraid to say no. They're afraid of the consequences, you know? I, and I guess he probably got afraid of me because I'm this big fucking guy, big gruff voice. Hello, how are you? And da, 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 my name and so forth. And I'm very forward. And look, there's a look at that old vintage trailer there. Whoa. 
What the fuck is that? Being towed by a Tundra at Tacoma with two spare tires. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that's the Jacques Cartier Bridge, Le Pont Jacques Cartier, which was uh, completed in 1930. Just in time for the Depression! Oh man, something smells heavenly here! You know what it is? It's a bakery that's near here. And you know what a bakery is in French? And boulangerie. Boulangerie is French for bakery. And uh, there it is. Yeah. Ah, melekeleke laka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. You know, one of the most ghetto elevators I ever filmed is actually in a building right over here somewhere. It's, I mean, seriously, I set foot and it starts moving. I thought to myself, this fucking thing's gonna break. I was scared. I'm not kidding you. I was scared for a few minutes there. I mean, just so dilapidated. You know? Hey, what's gonna happen in this world? Are we gonna fucking ban every Christmas song because it means this and that and even though it was recorded and it's a classic and it was recorded in the 40s, 50s? What a bunch of bullshit this life is today. No joke, man. Come on, look at this. Look at this. It's a lamp store. I don't know how this place stays in business. It's such a generally depressed area, but you know, it's nice to show you. I don't know. It seems to me like a, like a TV repair store. It just, you don't really see that very much anymore, you know? Who the hell has their fucking radio or TV fixed anymore? Look at this. What are they, what are they gonna build here? This belongs to the city here. Oh yeah, I think in the summer actually, this is for the uh, the fireworks. Because all the fireworks all happen over here during the summer. Ah, uh, summertime is so damn too quick in this city. This part of the world. God, this. It's almost like a tease. Frankly. And uh, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right here because I think I'm going to... Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, I think that's... No, that's not the building. I thought that was the building that had that really old elevator. Oh, or is it here? Yeah, this is it, eh? There it is, there. I'm not going to revisit. No, 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 no. So we're going to end this right here. At uh, We're at Delormier. La Rue de l'Armier and uh, St. Catherine, St. Catherine. Look, it's Santa Claus! Hey, Père Noël! Hey, hey Joyeux Noël! Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! <laughs> How's that ending with a bag? <laughs> it looked like a fucking drug deal like Santa Claus. It looks like Santa Claus went to the raves, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's another great way to finish. Shit, this looks like the fuck... This looks like the Mercedes SL that I just included a clip of in my a video I uploaded today. Today. Of like all these old cars I filmed driving in Montreal. But actually, I don't think it is because this car is actually one of the roughest examples I've ever seen. The paint is terrible on it. It's got a little rust. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, they're still working away on the Pont Jacques Cartier and they're scrapped! There you go. You haven't heard me say scrap, 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 scrap. God, is the tabernacle the back? Anyway, there you have it. So I uh, hope you liked it. And if not, well, uh, tough cookies, tough shit. Of course, if you didn't like it, you wouldn't have watched it this far until the end, huh? would you have? There you go. So, uh, oh well, I might as well finish my little jaunt here at the Metro Papinona, which I go to all the time, and. Uh, which is on the fucking, uh, the, I don't know, maybe this is, or right at the next street is the beginning of the village, the gay village, whatever, I don't know. Doesn't matter, really. Oh, not to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, nice old Mercedes, old Honda Accord. Now we got an older Dodge Charger here. Yeah, can you dig it? I don't know if I feel like taking a Metro, though. I go in there all the time. I just came out of there yesterday, even. You know? Uh, I have a propensity to repeat things over and over again. I used to have a friend who lived here. He turned out to be a fucking asshole like so many friends I had. I used to live right down here. And if you see this, you know who you are, you fucking jerk off. Don't watch my videos. All right, guys. So uh, not to end on a bad note, there's Metro Papineau, Papro, and Scrap, and taxis, and people, and it's life, and it's... Uh, and have yourselves a nice evening. Merry Christmas.